Welcome back to Metroid Prime. In the last episode, Boost Ball. Woo! Yeah! We can boost all over the place now. But we have a bit of an issue. So we can get up to that. We can get up to that platform, but we can't go any further. The only door that we can act like that we could get through is this one and we can't get up there. Like this this door over here. So yeah, we can't get up there. So we need to turn back. Just what you want to hear. After, right after you get to this really awesome place, this this land of ice and snow. You're, they're like, oh, yeah, now that you have the thing, go back. Get out of here. Oh, well. All right, now I believe, yeah. There's still one door that we didn't go through there. I'm not sure if we can get up there, though. And I, in hindsight, I guess I could have grabbed the the energy tank that was in that room on the way back because I missed it but I wanted it even though it didn't help me much I still wanted it so anyways uh okay so that door is up there there somewhere huh Need to wait for the gas to pass. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Please stop shooting me! You've already used up a whole energy tank of mine, and I'm not pleased about it. Well, there are more boxes here. Energy? A little energy. Okay, let's see if we can get up to that door now that those turrets are gone. All right, we can jump over here. Well, it looks like we can, we might be able to get up there. Though, mm, that platform looks a little high for our jump. And I doubt that we can bomb jump up there. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can make the height, but it's there's a gap. So I guess we're going back to to previous areas where we couldn't access before. Okay. Uh, that's this way, right? Oh, actually, we can just go straight to the Talon Overworld from here. We don't need to go to Chozo Ruins. Okay, this is actually a convenient little shortcut. I guess going this way in... What was it, the last episode? Yeah, going here last episode wasn't necessary. Actually, no, it wasn't even last, well, maybe it was. Episode four, regardless, whenever we went back to the town overworld after Magmore Caverns is what I'm talking about. Yeah, this looks, yeah, yeah, this is the right way, okay. Sometimes I have to validate that I'm going the right way because uh, the game's a maze. Game's a maze and it's amazing. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I fell in the lava. Okay, luckily you can just roll out. You don't have to wait for a bomb jump to save you. 
because those those can take a while to detonate when you're in peril like that all right so a couple episodes ago i goofed by coming to talon overworld early like returning here again early because we need to come here again anyways now now that we have the boost ball as you can see we can boost right along up this half pipe all right come on there we go all right what's up here even well there's a bridge uh-huh I guess that is something you can you can combust, explode, destroy. So you can come in here and what? Wait, wait, what? But this just leads to oh crap! I fell. fell and that is not great because now I have to go back and use the half pipe again great Ow. all right we're back mind the gap otherwise you have to backtrack again mind this gap too didn't fall down it but it can be hard to see hello hello Woo! space jump boots acquired so this is the thing I should have waited for like I should have waited until I got the boost ball and then came back to the town overworld but I screwed up. I forgot that this was where it was. And I'm just gonna heal up. I'm gonna heal up. Don't save. So now that we have the space jump boots, we have a double jump, which is great because now we can access a bunch of places that we could not previously. Including the place that had Boost Ball Vendron Adrift. Which means we have to go back there, but it's not that big of a trek since we have... Where is it? Uh, no, it's... Uh, this, this elevator. So yeah, I'll just meet you back at Vendron Adrifts. I really should have waited until I got Boost Ball to get him back here, dang it. Okay, we're finally back here again in Vendrana Drifts. Now there's a platform down there. You jump down there. And then you space jump, whoop, right across. Just to that platform. That's, that's, okay, that's really dumb that they, they make you go back to the town overworld after getting boost ball from here just to come back here. It's dumb. Also, there's a thing to scan. This thing. Cordite statue is worn and withered. Can I shoot it? Nope, you can't. Sorry. Okay. Now that we're actually back and talking. Uh, oh, jeez. These guys are annoying. Like, man, oh man, ow. Holy jeez. So yeah, get used to those guys. They're quite annoying. Oh. Whoa. 
hopefully we won't see any of those guys for a bit because while they aren't that bad to take down they they can be a little up close and personal let's say that they get in your personal bubble and I don't like things in my personal bubble personally get out of here oh those aren't the spiky dudes that or not the 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 those aren't the icicle guys that like you can only take down with the missile they're like weird ice lizard things, which shouldn't be a thing because lizards are kind of cold-blooded. Although, who knows? This is an alien planet. A statue depicting a bust of a Chozo shaman adorns this door. To, uh, to pass my gaze, seek my twin within this room. There appears to be a shell in... Do I... Do I break? No. The statue's hands seem to be frozen in place. Hmm. Interesting. So I need to find... this thing's twin or maybe the statue's twin is it you it's you wait a minute do I need to go back down there The statue is flawless. Brinstone. Hmm. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Something to to power up with bombs. And the door is open because we opened the thing because that face was identical to that face. Neat. I assume we can't destroy this one either. Or not either, but... Well, I guess... I guess... Okay, whatever. Anyways, let's move on to next room. These hands be seem to be frozen in place though which is not good maybe huh I guess we go below then destroy that yeah now we can yeah now we can go through aha Oh, great. We need to do the same thing here. Aha! Bombs and bomb jumping. And also puzzles. It's a thingy. Hello. Oh! Surprise! It was actually beat for a trap. No, oh, these little jerks again. Well, that one's dead. Oh, but there are two more now. Hi. Or maybe just one more? Oh, I want that health. Please, then thank you. Stop moving. Stop moving so I can get behind you. Thank you. Oh, only one appeared, and then 
this is the fourth. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Oh! I had to say it was easy enough. I had to. Okay, there are those energy things. Oh, uh, let's read the description on this thing. The she goth supreme predator of the Fendron Adrifts. Invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystals on the back absorb energy. That's not good. They have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after uh, using breath attack, making their mouth vulnerable. Well, that's, that's interesting to know. Well, how about we try using bombs? Bombs usually work on things that are low to the ground. Uh, it's, it's just, you need to use bombs. After he uses the breath attack anyways. Or maybe just whenever, because you know, tanking damage, that's something you can do. Not a smart thing to do, but it's something you can do. Uh, are there any more crates? There are crates. Oh, but the energy is being absorbed, so you need to be up close to break these crates. So, uh, use your, your frost breath, your ultra frost breath, so I can, like, destroy you. Oh, whoa. Uh, are you close to being dead yet? Oh, wow, okay, just as I say it, okay. Works for me. Are you leaving behind? Yeah, there's that energy. Now I can I can grab this thingy. Now this thingy happens to be the wave beam. Press C right to switch weapons. So now we can switch weapons, which is why we can't, like, why we can only, like, move with the control stick and you have to hold R to, like, aim your gun. Yeah, that's why. So you can switch beams. Which, honestly, the, I mean, there could have been a way around it. Like, you... Yo, hold R to be to like bring up a beam menu, and then you select your the beam that you're using like that. But I mean, it's it's not bad. And then you could have used like the C stick to aim. It still this still works. It's just a little wonky. So now that we have wave beam, we can attract the attention of those things, but also we destroy them with when like when they're powered up. And also, something else to keep in mind. I believe these are homing. Oh, wow. I did not see that one until it was, like, right up in my face. Now, I believe there's stuff that can be gotten in here, but we can't grab it now? Fairly certain that's the case. So we may come back here later. Hi, bye. Yeah, give me your energy. More energy. All for me. So yeah, those guys are destructible now too. But the yellow ones are very attracted to your wave beam. Like they're, they're just 
super hyper into wave beam energy. Now I believe I'm trying to I'm trying to target the the flying guys. Oh, a Shiga! Or a baby one, rather. Okay, well. Let's just take you down so I can explain what I was trying to explain. Or show off. Now, I believe that this is homing. Like, when you're... Can you not target those? Ah, oh, man. Okay, anyways, I believe that the wave beam is homing on certain enemies. Or all enemies, but I just can't seem to target these regardless. Alright, so we are in the Ice Ruins West now. Uh, now that we have Space Jump, we can actually get up here a lot easier. And honestly, you probably weren't even supposed to get up here with just uh, the bomb jump. But hey, you can. It's a thing, but you can't really do anything without the space jump and also the wave beam. So, yeah. All right, we, we shot down the icicle already. So, yeah, we shot it down last episode, I believe. And now that we have space jump, we can come up here and do stuff. Now, in this room... Oh, that's the wrong button. In this room, uh, there's a purple thing over over here. As you can see on the legend, that is only opened by Wave Beam. So don't even try going up to that room without the Wave Beam. Okay, okay. Now, I believe... Yeah, there's nothing on this platform. Okay, let's just shoot that thing. And space jump across through time and space, or just space in this case. You're an ace. I wanted, I wanted to continue the rhyme somehow. Ah, uh, get away from me. Give me your energy. Now, do it. Oh boy, another room. Another room where there's lots of water and stuff. All right, honestly, uh, I think I'm actually going to call it here. It's a weird room to just stop in. But, hey, I'm, I can do what I want. I can stop where I want. So, uh, this is in the ruined courtyard, just connected to the Ice Ruins West. We're ending here. I'll see you next time for more Super Metroid. Super Metroid, what? No, this, ugh, good lord. I'll see you next time for more Metroid Prime. What is wrong with me today?